Hi everyone, it's Mary Jo Snyder from MJ Shady Anchors and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to share with you a few tips about creating the band for around your mini coffee cups that are part of the Heartwarming Hugs product suite. You can find this suite on page 8 through 11 in your mini August through December catalog. So let's get started. I have three pieces of cardstock that measure six by random scraps, but as long as they're six inches long, um, that's what I have here. I have Real Red and Pear Pizzazz. These are colors that coordinate with the cardstock in the Heartwarming Hugs product suite, or I'm sorry, the Designer Series paper in the product suite. I also have here, these are the dies. These dies are called the warm wrap dies. These will help build this wrap around your coffee cup. I also have the two embossing folders that will be perfect for the mini stamp cut and emboss machine when that comes out. And the they are called the wrapped in texture embossing folders. Again, these are all products from that entire suite. That suite you can purchase in your starter kit for $99 plus tax but the suite itself is $103 and some change, or $123 and change, so you can get a bonus savings by purchasing the entire suite in your starter kit. You want more information about purchasing the starter kit? Be sure to contact me at mjsshadyinkers at gmail.com. Thank you. Let's get started. So I want to use this as my wrap, so I'm going to use Pear Pizzazz and Real Red as the border. So, we're going to cut out two pieces with these dies, like so. And then the real red, I'm going to need strips, four strips of this, and I need two of these in pear pizzazz. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some embossing as well with those awesome embossing folders. Just to get started, I'm going to lay down my piece of pear pizzazz and I think that both of these will fit on one sheet. You want to make sure that the curves are going in the same direction and get the top plate for my machine and just run those through. Like so. And we're going to set these aside and we're going to cut out our real red strips so you have both of those all nice and cut and we're gonna put our real red down here grab those other two die images you want these to also go in the same direction nope one goes the opposite so that when they layer they're on both sides and we want one of each or two of each so again run those through and these have this cute little dotted um, little accent to the edges there. And we're going to run those through again, making sure that the curved edges are opposite each other. set with those and now we want to come in and we want to do our embossing so we know that we need just the two plates and put and the base plate number one and I want to emboss these in the one that has the little polka dots and I'll have to do them one at a time so put down one and three that in there with the seam side going in first. You want to be sure that you always do that with your embossing folders. And again for the other one. Hopefully I did that right. Looks it. 
Okay, we're good there. Set all this stuff aside. And I'm going to show you how to assemble these. Okay, so you have both of these pieces and you have these. So you have a longer one and a shorter one. All right? And those are going to line on these like so. Okay? So you got one set for each piece, each panel. I want to come in with my stamp and seal plus because you want these to stick really good. And on the reverse side, I'm just going to go ahead. You always sometimes have a little bit hanging off the edge. That's okay. You're going to come in and you are going to assemble those pieces together. So you want that little pretty decorative edge to show underneath there. Do the same to the other side. And if any of your adhesive is showing, just fold that over. I have a tendency to go too close to the edge of my paper. Then I just have to fix it a little bit. No problems. So you have that. And you are going to do the same with this one. So as long as you cut them out right, you shouldn't have any issues lining them up. So there's that piece. You're going to do the same with this one. And you want that curved little edge there. Make sure it's lined up symmetrical. Remember, there's not a lot of forgiveness when you use Stamp and Seal Plus. There. There we go. And do the other side. And come in. Adhere those together like so and now you have these two pieces so now there's a little bit of red showing there because I didn't line it up where I needed to I'm gonna come in with my paper snips and I'm just gonna snip that away it's not a big deal you'll have that sometimes our hands sometimes are not always as steady as we'd like them to be just come in and Trim that edge. There you go. All right, so you have these two pieces. They're both identical in a sense. Nicely embossed, really pretty. So now what I want to do is grab some seal. And I find it easier, actually, to run my seal along the back edge instead of on this tab. And then you're going to, oops, I forgot a step. Grab your bone folder. This is important. You want to curl. And don't be too rough, it's not necessary. You just want to add that little curvature to that. And actually you can do it when you get it all adhered too. Like so, you got your stamp and seal all there, seal plus all there and adhering that together. You want to make sure you're rubbing that so, but don't mess your embossed image or your embossing. Come in and do a little bit more of that curving add adhesive to this other end like so and bring that around and adhere that like so and that is going to create that little you can line that up where the seams are on the cup too and that is what you do for your banner or your band on your cup and just add your little ingredients on the inside, your little treats or whatever you're putting in there. I do know that a gift card fits great in here too, just so you know. Um, and then you can decorate it with the stamps and everything from the, the product suite. Um, any of these stamps will look great, paired nicely with these bands on your coffee cup. If you want this to stick, you can certainly adhere the entire band to the cup. That's also a good recommendation. There you go. I just wanted to share with you how to put those together. I hope that you enjoyed these helpful tips and be sure to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thanks so much and I'll see you again soon. Happy stamping!